One of the fundamental objects in R is a vector, which is just a term to mean a single set of values in a particular order. We can create a simple vector in R using the concatenate function, which is a function represented by a lowercase c. Inside the parentheses, we put values or other vectors separated by commas, and these will be stuck together to create a new vector. When we print the vector, R simply prints the values one after another. You might wonder, what happens if there are so many values in the vector that it hits the end of the line? Well, the values wrap to the next line, just like the text would if you were writing a paragraph. Notice that there's also a little extra information in the first and second lines. In the first line, we have a number 1 in brackets, and on the second line, we have a number 10 in brackets. In each case, these correspond to how far r is into the vector at the start of each line. For example, the 10 indicates the first element on the second line is the 10th element of the vector. The 1 in the brackets at the start of the output indicates that this line was the start of the printed vector. This brings up a subtle point. Looking back on our earlier output, we can see the bracket 1 in each output. While each earlier output looked like a scalar, that is, a standalone number, each of these is really a vector with a single value. In R, a vector of length 1 is equivalent to a scalar. For those vectors with length greater than 1, it is common for us to want to access a specific element. Let's call our longer vector v. If you wanted to look at just the first element of v, we use brackets with a 1. Or if we wanted the third value, we could use a 3 in the brackets. We can also request several values at once. To do so, we create a vector that indicates the positions of the values we want returned. Then we put this vector into the brackets. So let's suppose we want to look at the first three values. We start by creating a vector of 1, 2, 3. Here I've done that using the special notation 1, colon, 3, which produces a vector with values 1, 2, 3. I'll save this vector into a variable called lookat, and then I'll use lookat inside the brackets to get at the first three values of v. There are three more functions worth remembering when it comes to vectors, length, head, and tail. The length function indicates the number of elements in a vector. The head function returns the first six observations in the vector, and the tail function returns the last six observations in the vector. Here's v printed out for a comparison. Also, if we want, we can specify a second argument in the head or tail functions. This second argument says how many observations we want to see. For example, here I'll specify that I want to see just the last three values of v using the tail function with 3 as the second argument. In the next video, we'll work with character and Boolean vectors.